Okay, hello guys, welcome to Hill Studios back again, and uh, let's get started. So, let us go to maps, main menu. So, what we done yesterday is like we created a session and we allowed other players to join a session. So now, how it works is like you can just kind of you can host a session and you can turn on your hotspot and your player should connect to your hotspot and they can join your session. So that's what happens currently. So this guy hosted a session and this guy joins one and uh, let us see see this guy joined one okay that's how we do until now let me just in decrease the scalability to low so let's go to this third person blueprint map uh, we're going to edit this map uh, let us uh, rename this thing to uh, tdm map okay and uh, let us do some modifications to it like initially it's kind of uh, mm, what i say kind of small so let us try to expand this map more and more so it will be much more beneficial for everyone so i'm going to remove this stuff and uh, i'm going to increase this thing increase this one and uh, uh, if you consider this entire block uh, Yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is we are just popping this thing somewhere again here uh, Maybe rotate this stuff mm, Yeah, and again copy this one again and uh, somewhere like here yeah, maybe why not? Let's keep it here and uh, rotate it somewhat like this. Got it? Now we completed it. Just a minute, guys. new video is getting uploaded so yeah so now okay now what i need to happen is like uh, blue team should spawn in one location and red team should spawn in other location like what happens in pubg mobile right when you enter tdm blue team will spawn in one location and red team will spawn in another location right so that's what we want so let us get started on that so one thing is like let us say this is for blue team and this is for red team okay fine so we will handle the spawning now okay so what happened what is our plan is like when player joins we're going to assign them to one team so initially one guy will be blue other guy will be red other guy will be blue other guy will be red something like that and blue players are spawning blue team's location and red players spawn in red team's location so let us do that right now so uh what should we do is let us go to here and let us do player start uh, i really like player start because it is just like a location kind of stuff and pay, people will be like okay this is where the player spawn so so uh let us where is my cursor i'm not able to see my cursor okay again okay okay now you can see the player start and go to details and go to tags we're going to get this location by using tags um blue okay wait blue team location you got it it is blue team location and control w again and control w again and we're going to do this entire stuff and uh, we're going to do this entire stuff as well got it so this is known as blue team location and let us go to the red team location so similarly we're going to add, i'm going to add a player start and i'm going to set its tag to like a red team location red team location and i'm just going to copy it so that the tags will also get copied why i'm having so many player starts is because player starts should be high so that player like player will not spawn in some some random location so you need to have more player starts like if you're making a battle world game you should have more player starts so that your player will spawn in at least one of them okay so okay done we have some here and we have some of this stuff here so it is now it is completely good 
now what we need to do so let us uh, as i said so if you look at world settings we have game mode so as i said game mode is something that runs at each and every level it is like a script bag it's like a script that is executing in the background so let us get started so before that i'm going to explain some concepts to you guys so that you guys can properly understand it mm, let us go for notepad uh, I'm, I'm quickly going to explain a listen server since we are doing listen server here i'm doing listen server model here okay so what is the meaning of listen server listen server is where there'll be a server and uh, there'll be a couple of clients so what happens is that whenever the client is firing all of the other clients should see right so what it says is like it sends a message to the server like i am firing and the server will send that message to every client so yeah like the server is sending to sending message to every client that is called message that is called multicast sorry yeah that is called multicast like if a server is sending message to every client that is known as multicast and if a client is sending to server that function is called execute on server so let us say this is client and it won't execute some function on the server then it will write a function called execute on server and that server need to execute some other code on every client so what happens is that it's going to call a function called multicast so that the code will execute let us take a practical example let us say i'm firing right when i'm firing there will be an effect like muzzle effect fire effect right so when i fire what i'll tell to server is like uh, display fire effect and what server does is like server will execute a function multicast on every client that displays the effect so you might get a doubt like why this client cannot send a function to every client because it is uh, unreal believes in a server authoritative model so unreal doesn't give the ability for clients to connect to other clients only server has the ability to connect to other clients so if you want to execute a function that runs on every client like displaying fire effect what you need to do is initially you need to contact server and tell him like i need a function to execute on every client and you need to contact server and server will then contact to every client i hope you guys get it so now client will be like display fire effect to server execute on server function and server will execute a function called multicast that will execute on every client so that's how it works if you guys didn't understand it there are so many videos on youtube just check them out they'll be much more helpful so as i already said game mode is something that is extremely important so let us create a game mode so go to new folder called tdm and uh, create a new blueprint class called uh, sorry for the disturbance but yeah i might not do a voiceover because this is an important tutorial game mode tdm uh, game mode and uh, let us create another blueprint class player controller tdm player controller we will do it we will do the we will uh, do these two stuff right now so assign game mode to here and player controller to here got it and i'm not going to do any pawn because we're going to spawn uh them okay fine let us do that okay no we're going to spawn them so there is no pawn guys and why there is no pawn because we don't know the location right if i set some pawn it will spawn in some player start location but we want our player to spawn in a particular position so we are not having any pawn got it now what we're going to do uh what we're going to do is now player joins right when player joins for the first player you have to decide his blue team and next player you have to decide his red team then it should like randomly do that stuff right yeah subsequently or vice versa whatever so for the first player should be blue next red blue red. so let's get started on that so go to event graph and there is a function called uh, just a minute there is a function called on post event on post login got it oh shit okay on post login on post login is like uh, a method where on post login is, is like a method where it executes once a player joins once a player not character okay so whenever as a, as a set player controller is like the brain of the entire uh, like brain of the player 
he might possess any character but player controller will always stick to the character so if you want to do something that persists across players that you control like persists across vehicles characters you should go for player controller so we will get a reference of player controller of the particular player okay now what you can do is uh, you can do a flip-flop node so flip-flop is like first year will execute next p next shape next piece something like that so uh, let us go to our player controller and what we're going to do is we're going to create a function called uh, assign team so we're going to be like we're going to be like assign team so add custom oh my god oh my god shit 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 okay delete it yeah cool add custom event now what um hmm. assign team it'll be cool now go to assign team and uh, mm, search if it is blue team or not if it is blue team it'll be true if it is red team it is not true so inside game state what you need to do is this is a player controller so cast to tdm pc cast to tdm pc and then maybe we can do it much more optimized so initially i'll cast I'll cast it and if it is successful then I'll go here and then what I need to do is I will be like assign assign team uh, if it is like if it is A then I am assign team if it is B I will not assign any team got it so this is a simple script when player joins we're going to First, we're going to assign him to blue team. Next guy will be red team. Next guy will be blue team again, something like that. So, we're going to have a script called uh, blue team. Okay. And we're going to we're going to set this blue team. And once you assign this team, now what you need to do is, once you assign the team, yo, he's blue team, man. So, now what you're going to do? We're going to spawn him at blue team location. We're going to spawn him at red team location so spawn at location so we're going to add another custom event spawn at location uh, which team we're going to have this thing here so don't need to worry i'm what i'm going to do is for such see okay if you look at game mode guys game mode exists only on this server so assign team function will run on the server just for safe side we're going to replicate it to run on server just to for safe side okay now we have this thing called spawn location so what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this function called spawn location got it and maybe i can give some kind of like okay fine whatever so spawn location what we do is like we're going to check if the guy actually is a blue team guy or not if he is blue team then uh, we're going to what we're going to do is get all actors of class with tag so we're going to get all of our player start locations with uh, having a tag something like uh, blue team location okay is a blue team then we're going to get one actor we don't need everything okay wait so everyone cannot spawn at other locations so we're going to be like uh, get random mint uh, random integer in range so minimum value will be zero and the maximum will be the length uh, minus one because in arrays indices start with zero so this is the kind of code to get the random thing so yeah so this is kind of thing and then we're going to put the random thing here and we're going to get the player start random player start so we are getting an array of player start locations which are blue tag blue team location and from them oh, we are picking a random index and we are getting it in and we are get actor location and once we got the location what we need to do is just need to spawn actor from class and he's like third person character spawn transform 
split structure pane and we're going to set the spawn location as our blue team player start location and once we spawn the character there is a function called process in our click on process is like controlling the character got it if we just spawn we are not controlling it right if we process it we are controlling it so that's it that's it guys and if it is if we are not blue team means we are red team if we are red team the process is extremely similar but without wait so now our team our tag will be red team low so just replace this name with this one so we're going to get all of the actors of of having a tag of red team location from them we are randomly picking one and we are spawning our character and we are processing it that's it guys so let us see so every time you don't you don't need to go to main menu and check it out unreal engine is extremely flexible extremely better than unity okay so go to act to game mode uh, act to play mode new editor window and set the player number of players as i'll say three and play as listen server and play okay now you can see like there is, there is one player with us there is other player with no players can you imagine why what happened i can imagine so this is the server so he will be the first player so he got blue team location got it he's a he's a blue team guy got it now this is the client one means second player he got red team location that's the reason why he is alone and the third person will alternatively get blue team location so that's the reason why he is with our server got it so that's it guys we completed the spawn locations of different players according to different teams it is extremely simple hope you guys get it if you have any doubts comment in the comment section and also join discord channel guys and help me out on my game as well and if you're interested to join my team we can make a good team so that's it guys and hope you learn something from it subscribe and comment if you have any doubts and also don't forget to join discord don't forget to join discord yeah and in the future we're going to add guns and maybe we're going to add names and everything so we'll see bye guys